Hey guys, it's Justin. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today we're doing everything Harry Potter. So today is our final day in New York. Uh, we're leaving tomorrow morning early. Uh, but today we're doing the first Harry Potter experience that's opening in New York City. There's multiple of these around um, the United States, but this is the first one opening in New York City and it actually just opened on the 19th. We're on our way now. But before we go to the Harry Potter exhibition, we are going, of course, to go get breakfast like every morning. So I believe we're going to go get another bagel at this bagel shop that has a bunch of different kinds of cream cheese and whatnot. Looks really good. Here's where we got pizza yesterday. Not only are we going to the exhibition, we are also going to the Harry Potter New York store, which is, I think, a, probably like 15 minute walk from the actual experience. But we're going to that. It's like multiple stories. It's probably where I'm going to blow a majority of my cash. So. I'm so excited. Those of you that know my YouTube channel, I've done a full video on my Harry Potter collection. And I love Harry Potter just as much as I love Disney. Maybe a little less because, you know, Disney's always going to have its spot. But I still do love Harry Potter. Here's the bagel shop and all of the different cream cheeses. They have maple bacon, cinnamon walnut raisin, olive and pimento, which sounds disgusting. But they also have multicolored bagels. That's pretty cool. There we go up there. I think I'm going to get the maple bacon one. That one looks pretty good. But they have a bunch. Oh, and birthday cake, which is really weird. But all right, I got mine. It's very good. There is a lot of cream cheese. Mom got everything also with the maple bacon. Matt got jalapeno cheddar with honey bacon sriracha. All right, Taylor, you got what? Blueberry and blueberry. Blueberry and blueberry. All right. Yeah, this is pretty good though. All right. The bagels are pretty good. I know they're famous for having a bunch of cream cheese on it, but that's just not really my liking because there was like a, a lot, I like a lot, but it was still pretty good. Um, that's my third one of the trip. I think I'm all bageled out now, but it was still good. Liberty Bagels. Okay, we have a little bit of time before we go to the Harry Potter exhibition. So we're in Macy's and it just opened. They're clapping. I guess we're having a little party or something. They're happy to see us. This Macy's just happens to be 11 stories. Ah, that is insane, but really, really cool. Here's all the people clapping, oh my gosh. I suppose this is the shoe floor. I'm not entirely sure. A lot going on. We were on the first floor and we saw a sign that said there was a Toys R Us on the 7th. I didn't want to believe it, but looking up ahead, it looks like somehow there's still a Toys R Us alive. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. How in the world is it still open? I miss them so much. There's a wall of pegs or something, I'm not entirely sure. But it's pretty cool. There's Jeffrey over there in the corner. Oh, light bright, sorry, whatever. I know what those are. I'm Goodbye Toys R Us. This is so neat. It's probably the last one I'll ever be in. I thought I heard tell of them opening it back up. Taylor thought so too. Like on TikTok they said they were going to, but I'm pretty sure they're not. But this one still exists somehow. There's an arcade, because you know, why not? I don't really know why Cruise Line Mickey's up there, because there's nothing Disney up down here, but there's a lot of Macy's souvenirs. They have a whole thing over there of just the bags you can buy. And it says arcade, but we've yet to see an uh, arcade machine. Here's some like Switch stuff, but is that what it meant by arcade? Okay. Here we go. It's very, very loud outside. There's some people using like a jackhammer and I can barely hear myself think. You have to pick your favorite house, Juan and Patronus. He did a cat. And... <laughs> what are you looking down at? Look <laughs> at the photo. Here we go.
Is this Hagrid's house? I think it is. Oh my gosh, it is. It does smell like fire. Oh, this is sad. The guy who played him passed away. But there's his umbrella slash wand. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna suck at this. I'm telling you right now. We're in the cupboard under the stairs. There's mom right there. Mom, you want to get in? It's Harry's pillow. All his little trinkets up there. Invisibility cloak, and there's like nothing there. Okay, there's the resurrection stone. All the Deathly Hollows are sitting there. Here's the exhibition store. We're still going to Harry Potter New York, which is the big, big store down the street. But here's some of the items here. Some of it's specialty to just this exhibition. You can't buy it online and whatnot or in like the other store. But I don't think I'm gonna buy anything here. I think I'm gonna wait to blow all my money at the actual Harry Potter store. We're coming up on it. I can see the writing. Oh Harry Potter New York. We made it. There's a butterbeer bar over that way. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Severus Snape, Newt Scamander. I have Newt's wand. There's the Elder Wand. There's Queenie's. I'm gonna get a wand. I don't know which one, but it's definitely one of them. Oh, whoa, what is all this? <laughs> Alright. Umbridge little section here. Oh, here's the... Honeyduke section. I'm gonna spend so much money here, it's not even funny. Oh yeah, I ha that tastes disgusting. I have that, yeah. Chuck a frog. Pretty cool. We got some peppermint toads, fudge flies, fever fudge, fizzing wisbies. Here's the top floor, and it goes way down there. No, I don't need a Dobby shirt. No, it's okay. Let's go to the magical creature section. All over there, there's a bunch of them. You know what those are called? Pigment puffs. Harry Potter luggage. You wanna buy one, Taylor? They're probably real expensive, I'm sure. Oh my gosh. $400 for wizard chests? That's crazy. The golden egg. Here's the little Mina Lima, sh Mina Lima shop. I got a events potion making book in here along with a cauldron and two shirts. And from in there, I grabbed it the first thing I saw when I walked in there because I knew I wanted it before I came here. But this store is awesome. All right, that was $166, but with gift cards, it took it down to, I think in the 80s. So that's pretty dang good, I think. And then I had a bunch of cash, I used all my cash and I had $33 that was just on my card. And, you know, I still got more in my checking and everything, so pretty cool. And now we're going to get the the Harry Potter cake. Oh, that's cool. Um, now we're gonna get some butterbeer. My mom already got one. There's a glass in there. There's a couple other things, and my sister got a refillable water bottle. All right, here's my butterbeer, yeah. And then I got, you can kind of see it. It says, happy birthday, Harry, on it. It's a little cake. Um. This is so good. It does not really taste like the one from the park. It's like, I don't know, the whipped stuff on top is delicious as well. Taylor got a sorting hat cookie. So. All right, we finally 
got a seat, but I'm about to try this. That's really good. They got like a raspberry thing in the middle of it or something. Pretty good. Okay, we're all very tired of walking, but we're eating a DD soup dumpling, daily fresh handmade dumplings. We went to that Chinese place. It was so good. I got shrimp fried rice, and Kayla got soup dumplings. It was very, very good. All right, it's three o'clock now, but our thing today is until like way later tonight for the Empire State Building observation deck. So we're gonna go back to the hotel. It's about a five minute walk from here, probably less by now, but, and we're just gonna get some rest, I think. All right, we took a long nap in the hotel. And now we are heading into the Empire State Building for our final activity. There's a model of it in the lobby here. Mariah Carey, what in the world? The lighting ceremony, there's a switch. Oh, this is wicked. That's really big. We're heading upstairs now. I know that there's like a King Kong looking thing somewhere where he looks like he's on the outside of the building. Here's some pretty neat stuff. I didn't know there was like a little bit of museum here. There's these little things you can look into. Let's see. Oh, well, that's cool. Oh, there's King Kong. This isn't the part I was talking about, but. This is not the elevator, but it looks like one. That's awesome. The world's most famous building. Spider Man, Cookie Monsters on it. Whoa. What in the world? Oh, there's all the movies that it's naming that this movie, this Empire State Building's in. Here's the King Kong room. It looks like it's on the outside of the building. That's awesome. The lights flicker and everything. Here's all the celebrities and everything that's been up here. There's Taylor Swift, Cena Gomez, and Zac Efron, Heidi Klum. Ariana Grande, Miss Piggy, Marshmallow. It's on the side. Ed Sheeran, Steve Carell, some dogs. <laughs> Lassie. Keep your arms and legs inside and keep your eyes open. See those hot rivets fly through the air? Nice catch, Lou! Get those blanks out of the way, huh? at the tippity top. We're not outside yet, but that's awesome. Here's the side of the building over there. And One World Trade Center. One World Trade Center Observatory, I should say. All right, we're at the top. It's very cold. Wind's blowing quite a bit. There's a little section for a picture. There it is. And there's the top of the Empire State Building up there. Very top. That's crazy. This is so cool. Great view. We found where Buddy the Elf goes into, and obviously an elf. This is the main entrance that he walks into. I think that's pretty cool. All right, here's a quick little walk through everything I got. This is the, um, I still don't know the name, Souvenir Playbill, or whatever it's called, I don't really know. Um, at the Harry Potter store, I got Cedric Diggory's wand. I'll show you all real quick. Okay, here's his wand. 
almost looks like lemons or something on there. I'm not sure, but I really like it. That's Cedric Diggory. He's the Hufflepuff. No, I don't have this one. No, I do now. Okay, and then this is the rock beanie I got with the little fire department pin. Um, I got this Harry Potter New York uh, spirit jersey. I got a butterbeer. This came with my drink today, and there was a station to wash it out on. I got, for some reason, the Constitution from the 9 11 Memorial. I thought I wanted that. I didn't buy this, but this is from Wicked Playbill. I got an iHeart New York shirt. Got that on the first night. This is a Wicked water bottle I got from the show. And last but not least, I got Advanced Potion Making. It's not real, it's just a journal. But, um, yeah. Pretty neat. There's all my stuff. Editor's note, I left out Mickey Mouse from the first night. So there you go. Got him too. Along with this Hufflepuff shirt that I'm actually wearing. There's me again. But alright everybody, that is going to do it for today's video. And also the very last part of my New York City vlogs. Um, I had a wonderful trip. I, I would love to come back again someday. It's been a dream come true because I've dreamt of going here for years and years and it's been amazing. I highly recommend visiting if you've never been to New York. It's awesome. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed these videos and thank you so much to my family that has made this trip come true and for paying for a lot of it and um, taking me here. So I, I love you all and thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed these videos. And please leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe and comment down below what you guys want to see next because this is going to be it for a while. So thank you so much for watching. Love you guys. Bye.